Hi everyone, Bill Coyle here again with more travel agent tips. You know, we may have clients that have booked through us before, or we may have those clients who have asked us for itineraries, but we haven't been able to close the sale. So how do we work this out, right? What are the three major things that I feel you need to do in order to close the sale? Build trust with them, overcome objections, and share in the excitement of the itinerary that you're presenting to them. I really feel these are the three major things that are gonna help you close that sale. So trust really is everything. I mean, the ability for you to put together that itinerary and make sure you feel very, very confident in what you're presenting to them, I think is gonna make closing the sale ultimately easier, right? You've done all the research. You've made sure and asked all the right questions. You know everything about this client so that you can put together the best itinerary to present to them so that when you come to that point, when you say, hey, are you ready to book? You've done the research, you feel comfortable, timing is everything. Be sure and not ask for that sale until you feel extremely confident in everything you put together for them. And make sure that you believe in it yourself. You trust that you're presenting them with the exact right product, destination, room category. Everything is included in an itinerary and you feel very, very good about that. Now you're overcoming the objections. You presented the itinerary and you're overcoming any objections that they might have. Oh my gosh, I don't have the finances. Well, you know what? I'm a travel agent. I can take payments. Uh, we can post your payments every month. We can post them weekly. Whatever's good for you. You've got to be careful about being that, you know, that agent that's going to do that extra work for them. But I guarantee you, if that's the trigger point that it's going to take to get that deal for them to make payments to you, you're going to have that client for life. There's also this idea that's an objection that might be because some of the travelers that are going have a lack of communication. They're not comparing apples to apples. One might, one couple might say, I did my own research and you know what? I found it cheaper somewhere else. Well, was that the exact same room category, the exact same airfare, the same flights? Did it have the same car? You know, the same transfers? Did it have insurance? Was it not insurance? You've gotta make sure you're talking apples to apples. To be honest with you, I rarely book multiple couples or multiple family members unless I'm working with all of them at the same time. Whether it's a phone conversation or in person, I want to make sure that I'm speaking to everyone in that party. Now granted, they might be two or three years old, they're not necessarily in the group, but anyone that's adult age, I want them there so that everything I'm talking about, they understand and we're talking apples to apples. So they're not out going online and trying to find something different or better. So I love that everyone's all together when we're, when we're in the booking process. I think that that's very important. And I love the idea of taking away any insecurities. Um, for instance, I'll remember when um, we had a family going to Mexico, it was their first time they were going on a cruise and the mom and dad were all concerned about the kids because they were teenagers kids and the thought was you know what if they go off and do something I literally met with the entire family and sort of put the fear of God in them to make sure that the kids understood they are staying on resort or they're staying on the cruise ship or whatever the case is they're with their families they're staying with them they're staying with the excursion and just making sure that they understood the whole process throughout that parents love that again it buys that loyalty it gives them security uh, you knew what you were talking about and you shared that with them and then the idea of sharing in their excitement. I gotta be honest with you, I am the most passionate person. Whenever I put together an itinerary, as a matter of fact, today I'm working on an itinerary for a family of four, uh, two adults, and then their grown children for Hawaii. They've never been there. And I'm like all excited because I love Hawaii. I love putting together Hawaii itineraries. So that idea of sharing in the excitement about it, starting to build that excitement uh, about the itinerary, about the trip, Again, buys loyalty, and guess what? It helps you close the sale. It, it makes it so much easier to ask for that credit card payment when you've all bought into the excitement about it. So we've done all this work. We've put together the best itinerary. We've built their trust. We've overcome objections. Even if we had to put together a secondary itinerary, which might be, a, instead of an ocean view, a garden view, right? And now we've shared in all the excitement, right? Like it's like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be awesome. You're not done yet, gang. We still gotta get that credit card. We've got to get the cashola. So we've gotta make sure that they feel completely confident and they see the timing in when that deposit or final payment is due. Stay on top of it. Make sure and get that payment from them because you've done all of this work and you want that booking. Listen. We're not gonna get every single booking though. I even get to the point sometimes where I don't close a deal. I'm like, what the heck happened? What didn't I do right? I actually keep a stack of bookings that I didn't get to close on my desk and I review them from time to time. I'm, I'm, I make that part of my uh, routine to say, what did I do wrong? What could I have done better? Make sure and use that as a, as a, a trading element, an education factor, um, so that you understand what you can do better next time. 
But I believe in you guys. I believe you're going to be able to uh, make it work for yourself and you're going to get that credit card and get that uh, payment made so that you can get that commission in the long run. So these are just some tips in closing the sale. I hope that they've helped you. If you've enjoyed this video on travel agent tips, be sure to like and subscribe and leave us your comments because we read those comments, we take them to heart, and we're going to do what we feel is best for you guys in the future with more travel agent tips. So thank you again for watching. We appreciate your time. We'll see you again soon.